there's a lot of levels as to why time travel is fascinating. I think people are intrigued by the possibilities out there and I think time travel would be something that would offer just endless possibilities. Brian Clegg and I'm a science writer, my background's in physics and I've written a book called How to Build a Time Machine. If you look back, really people have been interested in what time is forever. People have thought, what would happen if I could move into the past, move into the future, what would things be like? There have really been two ways of looking at time travel in, in fiction. Early on it was fantasy, so it was the idea that you would be magically transported to another time. I think the best known one is Mark Twain's uh, Connecticut Yankee in the Court of King Arthur, where he, he gets a knock on the head and that transports him somehow magically into the past. But it was H.G. Wells who transformed that and took a scientific view and said, maybe time is just another dimension, something we can move backwards and forwards in just as we can move in the space dimension. And he'd be proven right in just maybe about 10 years time or so when Einstein started to come out with his theories. Einstein managed to link time and space through relativity. What he tells us is that if you move quickly, then time slows down for you. And effectively, that's a way of traveling into the future. Traveling into the past really takes remarkable technology. People have thought that time travel just couldn't be possible because nobody's ever seen any visitors from the future. But in fact, there's nothing in the laws of physics that says it isn't possible. I think when you think about traveling to the past, the thing that springs to mind immediately is what would happen if I changed things? What would happen to the future? And we get paradoxes emerging.